Hi, this is Mike Young, Elder Law and Asset Protection Attorney in Walnut Creek, California. And I would like to talk a little about the importance of having the appropriate Medi-Cal and asset protection language in your revocable living trust. So most people have a revocable living trust as the centerpiece of their estate plan. And in the trust, they have their home, for instance, and other assets. Now, let's say we want to qualify the maker of the trust for Medi-Cal. And let's say that the maker of the trust has lost mental capacity. Medi-Cal allows for gifting of assets, if we follow the Medi-Cal regulations appropriately, in order to qualify for Medi-Cal. So now we need to gift assets out of the trust to family members, for instance, in order to qualify the maker of the trust for Medi-Cal. 99% of all revocable living trusts do not allow for gifting by a successor trustee if the maker of the trust has lost mental capacity. So we need specialized language in the revocable living trust that says that in the event the maker of the trust loses mental capacity and we need to qualify him for Medi-Cal, uh, then we can do gifting. Most revocable living trusts do not have this language and uh, provide that any assets coming out of the trust uh, have to be in exchange for consideration or money going back into the trust. So contact your elder law attorney who can help you update your estate planning documents for Medi-Cal and uh, asset protection purposes. My name is Mike Young. I'm an elder law attorney in Walnut Creek, California. My website is walnutcreekelderlaw.com. Our phone number is 925-256-0298. And please feel free to contact my office for additional information. Thank you.